Well, ladies, thank you for joining me today. Coach, would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? I'm Stacy Wilson. I'm the head coach here at Boswell High School. How long have you been coaching? This is my 12th season coaching and my third season at Boswell. Where were you at before? I spent nine years at Saginaw High School uh, under Hank Fulkerson. As his varsity assistant? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you guys had a pretty successful run, like around 2009. You want to talk a little bit about that? Um, in our 2009 season, we were region finalists. Um, we finished up getting knocked out uh, by Azel to go to the state tournament. Um, and that year in our district, uh, the only teams that beat teams from our district were other district opponents. So oh, wow. uh, we knocked out Alito, Azel knocked out Brewer, and then Azel knocked out us. So we dominated the entire region that year nice. um, out of our district. Nice. And then you guys are both now Saginaw's in playoffs, Boswell's in playoffs, another great year, two separate campuses. So awesome. Okay, do you guys, you want to introduce who you brought with us? Absolutely. I have our sophomore pitcher, Julie Kennedy, um, and our two three-year starters that are juniors, uh, Kelsey Paris and Peyton Robinson. Hello, ladies. Hi. Uh, Julie, let's start with you since you're the pitcher. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the season so far. Um, we have definitely overcame a lot of obstacles, and it's just really been like a fight all the way through with making playoffs. It's been no one was guaranteed, and... It was more of you win or lose, and win or go home. Okay, and what do you think that you have to do to prepare for playoffs as a pitcher? Um, just make sure I do my job and make sure I hit my spots. Okay, and Peyton, tell us a little bit of about the season from your aspect. Um, it's definitely been one of the funnest that I've been a part of because everyone's just always laughing and it's always fun, <laughs> and we can always like carry over onto the field, like have good attitudes, and always just ready for the next play. And what do you feel you guys need to work on to prepare? Um, I think we need to work on... Or you individually. Me? Okay. Um, probably making sure I'm keeping everyone upbeat and like making sure everyone's like ready for the next game and what's going to happen next. So you're the team cheerleader? Yes. <laughs> um, so. Very good. And what about you? Um, I think this year has been our hardest year because Every team is really good, and um, you know, like Julie said, no one was guaranteed a spot, and um, I think that helped us as a team grow closer because we all had to fight together instead of individually. Right, mm -hmm. and there are strength in numbers for sure. Yeah. So, what do you guys think that you you can do next year? Y'all are juniors mm -hmm. to even go even further. You know, like just continue this this playoff. Well, I think everyone's going to progress getting better, so I feel like next year will be even better than this year because everyone's growing as a team, especially, and we'll all be close because we're the closest this year, and I just feel like next year is going to be even better. So. Okay. And so you you had a little bit of um, struggle this year. Mm -hmm. You want to talk a little bit about that and how you kind of rose? Uh, um, at the beginning of the year, I got told I had scoliosis pretty uh -huh. bad and I was out for a month and so I missed I think the first couple games and um, I had to overcome that because I wanted to be here for district for my team and I did overcome it and I have to do some therapy now and I think um, I feel pretty good now. So <laughs> That's great, that's great. Okay, so let's talk about the toughest game so far. What was the toughest game do you think? Do you want to start? Definitely Alito because the first game we lost, but it was more, we weren't prepared. And I feel like this game it was win or go home and everyone was on the same page and everyone fought together and in the end we came out on top. Because you guys just won. Yes. Yeah. You just beat them. Congrats <laughs> on that. And you think the same thing, you guys? Yes, yes. it was a very intense game. Yeah. Was like it? Each inning was like, we would it go was, ahead and then they would go ahead. It was just crazy stuff always happening. It was a fight all the way through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Was, was there something about a bat? Oh, yeah. There was, um, I play third base, and there was a girl swung and hit a ball, and her bat broke in half. Oh, my gosh. And the barrel of the bat was, like, flying towards me, so, like, I just kind of let the ball go past me, and the shortstop, Graceland, got it and threw the runner out a second, so we got her out, but it was kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> she saved her life. There yeah. you go. <laughs> well, you want to just talk a little bit about these young ladies? They seem like great athletes. Um, I think ladies. this team this year, if you could sum up their mental state, it's perseverance. Mm -hmm. um, we've overcome a lot of different challenges, external and internal, and I think that they're all better for it. 
Um, and I see nothing but growth in our future. So I, I look forward to the rest of this season and to seasons in the future. It's, it's a bright future for Boswell softball. Yeah, absolutely, especially since they're all underclassmen, you know. So what do you feel they need to do, or you guys, the softball program, needs to do to prepare next year? I think to continue to mature as players and develop more mental toughness. I mean, as far as ability and talent, um, this team has it. We have the, the ingredients we need to be successful. We just just got to really focus on continuing to grow and develop um, camaraderie, finishing ball games. Um, we had six losses in district this season, and five of the six were by one run. Mm. And we had multiple uh, leads going into the late innings of the game and, and lost those leads. So I think just that, that perseverance and being able to play an entire seven innings and make sure we finish out what we start. And it is a tough district. It's a new district for the you know, our EMS district. So congrats on at least getting to play off you guys and the best of luck.